What's up boys? Today I'm just doing some speed farming on Kron to get his talents up since there's some pretty cool stuff down here like a huge charge based on your attack damage in area. I really want to try building around that and also there's some damage based on your life which sounds kind of cool for a tanky build but I need a lot more points so I'm just doing some easy stuff for now. Um, for items, I do have a lot of Master and Legend a lot more legend there to bring me up to 100% so I can try to find some cool stuff there. I can upgrade anything to master and I think that's about it. I have some region there and also a decent amount of healing on that to give me some sustain. I think I'm going to try building around power abilities a bit since Kront seems to be based around that. You can get... oh, I actually don't even lose anything from that right now. What'll it be? You can get another two power slots on him. I think Combust is one, but that's not that interesting. I would like to get like Justice and Death, I think. I have three slots, so I could grab Alteration, but I can grab that for some early XP farming here. Justice has an aura. And death also has an aura that also Come fears on. enemies who hit you. So, kind of want to try a full aura build, but I don't mind some big XP pool. I could probably banish that if I'm going all in on powers. We'll see how that goes, I suppose. There are some extremely good uniques as well. I believe there's a chest with like plus 300 life that I would love to have. And of course, that thing is pretty nuts. 75% legend offer and some okay utility sets. So there are some very good uniques you can farm here. And Winter would help you farm that stuff. Chance to freeze when you dash. And that is a power. Might want to try something with that at some point. That doesn't deal damage though. So mainly looking for Justice Death now. Nope, that would be kind of cool. You could actually do a power dash build with lightning bolts plus the frost and other thing. Be kind of cool. So fear, that's the aura I'm looking for. Let's go ahead and banish that. Or that, um, probably that. And I don't have any rerolls, so I guess I'll take that now to start getting my auras online a bit. Well, they're kind of just building, so I guess I'll turn auto attack on to make that a little bit more consistent. It actually does seem to auto target enemy projectiles as well, which is a pretty nice change to it. Makes auto attack way better than it was. Frost Dragon. Probably banish that. Um, I guess I don't mind it. It will chill enemies at least. Oh, wait! I can't get justice now, oops. I got too excited by the legend, even though I have a 100% legend offer. Okay, so I am frost plus death, no, yeah, frost plus death plus time now. Uh -huh. So no justice available. Huh, I could have gotten that at expert, which would have been helpful. I just banished all the summons, so that's probably not great even with a frost dragon. That? I banished the attack damage scaling thing, so that's probably not great either. But one level on it is supposed to be able to trigger the XP from warp strike. So I probably do want one level in it. Deaths. Um, probably don't want any of these at novice. That might be pretty helpful on a melee build. So I'm gonna pass on this stuff. Probably banish that. Let's see what we can alterate into. I'll go ahead and banish that and take an aura level. Get the area and the damage up a bit. I don't really know the power passives that well. I've mainly been looking into like the dash and the strike based stuff and a bit of casting. 
So I will want that at some point now, probably. Ice shards, uh, probably don't want the attack damage scaling thing. That might be useful. I'll see what I can alterate into. Alteration. I'm probably gonna want full damage for a power base build, so I'm just gonna take this for now. So there I've too. probably made it so I can't really take alteration ritual there. I guess some more force here. How much master do I have? 15.6. I believe there's another pretty strong master unique for the relic slots. Which would help a lot with getting good stuff there. What color is power? Yellowish. 36% area, very nice for an aura. And I guess the Frost Nova when I eventually get that. Eh. Out of the dashes, I'll have time, winter, and death. Probably take death out of those. Get some XP, I suppose. Pretty early to get that going. But I just really want to unlock all the talents because they make a huge difference. I could get that up to master, I suppose. Bit of early XP. I was actually kind of struggling with Darkness 10 at first on this map. And then I unlocked the final row, and then Darkness 20 was suddenly completely face roll. That's how much of a difference they make. Sure. Stack of chilled every few seconds. Sure. Unfortunately, Winter has seduced me with legendaries. But I'll have several runs to try and get all of my talents, since that takes a while. You get 8 from a full run of this place, I think. I need 36, so that is 3 full runs if I can get through without dying. But with all the legends I can get now with my setup, it's probably pretty easy. still. It would be cool if there were some strong powers that scaled with duration so that you could pump alteration ritual at the same time. I don't remember many of them doing that though. I don't think the death one does. Force obviously doesn't. I don't think the justice one does. Maybe the death one would scale the fear duration up a little bit. Afraid. Away from its fear at 25% movement speed. Lightning bolt doesn't have a duration. So it, there's almost none of them that have a duration other than alteration. Probably some more banishes to help me reroll into high rarity stuff. Banishes and rerolls.
Well, at least with the, all the winter legendaries, I can go for the plus item drop stuff. Try and help me get some of the strong uniques added in. You know how some or aura. Want to get that at some point? I could see if I get it at high roll here. Probably don't care about that this much for this run. That might be useful at one level. Guess we're going aura here. Extra dice on each one, sure. See if we get anything better. Fear level up would be pretty nice. More area and damage scaling. More attack area, I suppose? That lets you hit a lot more enemies with it for the XP shards. Also lets you destroy projectiles from farther away. See if we can get anything better. More fear is fine. More heals, I think. Force is okay. I do spawn shards with the attack at least. Hopefully that's maxed out now so it's out of the pool. I could grab that to make those a bit more common. It's probably fine, even though I already have the master thing. Oh, it has 10 levels, that's not great. I probably don't need any more pool range. Kind of want those at higher. Fear up to purple is pretty nice. Still trying to get that at a higher rarity. I guess the heal on hit, I do have a pretty wide area. I probably want to reroll in time to try and get Gem High. And actually, taking the legends whenever they're offered would get them out of the pool and then make it even easier to roll Gem High. I think I took Force over Temporal Lord or something. Eh. Uh, I guess I'll get that to try it. And that's the third one, so I can't be offered powers anymore as well. Grab some dash recharge.
more fear. Still can't get that. Once I get time to fish for legendaries. A coat of status. Would help with freeze. That's probably fine. I don't think I care about strikes that much. Some movements, more movements. Don't really need more on that. Let's see if I can re roll into a legendary. So, like I said, Temporal Lord would have increased the chance of getting Gem High there. So, might have been a mistake passing that earlier. Master, more area and damage. You need to find out which gods have stuff like area for the powers, though. That would be pretty useful for an aura build. Probably pickups okay. Eh, I'll try it. If I had the crown life based stuff, I would definitely take the life, but don't have that unlocked yet. Actually, I'll put some levels in that and see how it goes. I am trying to test some of the dash based stuff to see how it will work when I eventually get the talent to go dash cront. The Frost Nova might not be that important since you're mainly scaling the attack stuff since you get huge multipliers on that. Make but the Freeze could still be useful. I think it's just full chill stacks right away, don't even need to stack it up.
I do want that, but probably at higher rarity. I still haven't seen the item drop thing. I guess I could grab that. It doesn't seem like I'm gonna get life link. More power area, there we go. 45% is huge on that. Averon also had some power based stuff that I saw. I think you can scale power damage with a portion of your attack damage. And some of the master attacks can Which get like 50% plus per level in them. I guess some huge pickups. And he can also scale his damage a bit with armor, which is kind of cool for a tanky build. Damage for each status, I suppose. I think that's all of the winter legendaries. We've gotten three of them. There might be either three or four. That's so annoying when they go outside the ring on a melee character. So up to 16 now. I guess dive up to master. Kind of doing dash stuff here and try that out. Oh, I guess that's probably it now. More cooldown reduction. I'm not sure if that applies to the dash. Minus 7.7, .7, I have 30 and I don't know the math and I don't remember all the upgrades I have, so I'm not sure on that. More pickups to go with the other thing. Pickups can be pretty useful if you get magnet shrines from them. I guess some dash damage is fine. That is at master. that thing to get it out of the pool. Time field would be useful on a melee-ish build. Ah! 
Vampirism. Sure. Ancient weapon, a healing amulet. Uh, probably more dive. That's okay now, I guess. Although I do have some decent area for power stuff. Uh, I could try getting the rarity on that up. See how big the AoE can go. a lot of attack area. Might try that just for the XP farming. That would actually be really insane with the dash thing that has 500% area scaling. Um, I only really have curse maybe. Luck will help Frost Nova a bit. What's a chance on that? 41%. Or fear. I guess that might be kind of useful. Range that's a kill. More force until I can finally roll a legendary there. The Degen. Try and pull him to the center so I can actually hit him somewhere. But yeah, I guess that guy has a pretty fast melee attack, so he would be pretty awkward to fight on a short range power build.
Wow, that just turns instantly Jesus. You cannot be close to him at all. You have to use a pillar for that, I guess. I can actually auto him over the pillar. So, 8 essence a run. Still gonna take a while. Can at least unlock some new stuff every run. Force kind of weak considering it was such a high level and I got it pretty early as well. Can't really generate that much XP there. So what can I grab here? Enemy barrier and bosses. Enraged. How long does that last at higher levels? 8 with a 12 second cooldown? might be doable, but that's a lot of points. Could try an attack based build, I guess. Another 5 points, power, damage you deal and take, dash recharge, additional armor. There's just not really anything super interesting up here. There's at least some cool stuff on some of the other guys. Guess I can grab some power slots. Could have had alteration ritual there. Maybe some dash recharge would help finding some stuff. <laughs> Might be better for Scotty. So that's tier one. Uh, might be okay. Tier two, but really bad stats. Revival. That would give me a lot more adept offers if I have to take any of those early on, lose a little bit of XP, I guess it's probably fine. Maybe see if I can do more of an attack focus build here. 38% really seems okay for blue, but the other stuff doesn't seem that great. Could get attack speed. Eh, sure. Grab a huge attack area for an attack based build. Let's see what we can do with that. With time. Purple, 48% is not bad. Sure. No! So, Chains of War and Shurikens probably doesn't help that much. I don't really know what else he has there. Lightning. Movement speed would be okay. Not sure on that. Um, I guess I could grab that at purple. Time and fire so far, not super useful on those. Oh, your graphic changes when you get enraged. That's kind of cool. Temporal Lord. I suppose I'll grab that to get the legendary pool smaller.
Are you just warm? Rock hands would be funny, but it's a cast. Not sure on that. More warped attack. Grab some XP here. Honestly, the rock hand sounds funny here. Kind of want to try it. Probably curiosity to try and find some better stuff. The rock hands look so silly. <laughs> Definitely have to try a cast build with that at some point. Movement speed. More warped attack. Could banish some stuff here. That's probably not going to do that much damage. Could also reroll to try and find legendaries here like that. Perfect. some extra adepts since I'm still locking in some of my stuff. Get fisted. Probably don't want that. I have earth, time, and fire. I guess I would take time out of those. Probably just one level and then banish it. All of these probably take the early alteration. That'll be very nice with Jim High and the warp strike going already. More attack speed. Hands. Oh, attack area. That would be very useful to have at some point. And I guess that points now. So Earth might be good to have on the dash build then. Since you have such high area scaling. But you can also get shrines with a huge amount of it. Attack speed. Probably the life on attack hits. With all that area and attack speed I have, that should be quite a bit. Grab some. XP. So power area is here. She has the rock shield as a power skill. 
probably not going stuff like that here. So if you wanted to do full power aura build, you'd probably want Justice, Death, Earth. More alteration, probably. Try and get the rarity of stuff up for free. Getting more. more attack speed. Rock hands? Uh nah. attack area is really good. It is a funny cast though. More movement speed. Those are okay. I might want to just banish everything here so that I can finish off summer though. I'm not sure I'm really going to be scaling that stuff. I would like to get this stuff at higher, like luck or attack crits. Probably banish that and reroll. Could grab that for some more dice stuff. Could also upgrade that with alteration, maybe. More alteration. Oh, I do want to get that out of the pool, so I'm going to take a level in that and then banish it, actually. And that'll remove all of the dash stuff. More attack area? That is strike, cast, power, summon. None of those are very useful for me. Maybe I can get some duration there. Grab some mountainous might. Nope, area. Might be okay. More 
power duration. Got the sick XP shrine combo. I'll take the blue crit. Might not be that hard to upgrade it if I have a limited pool there. Warped attack up to red. I want to banish that. Might grab the alteration ritual levels early on since there's still a pretty good chance I can get a free upgrade. Alteration. Um, guess probably just the XP. Mostly just waiting for master stuff, anyways. that off. Summon duration. Don't think I'm going to be using that. Although 38% is a lot for a level 1 novice passive. really help. That doesn't have an area. I can get slightly faster hands. Dash duration is pretty bad. Cast damage is bad. Let's see what else we got. Cast duration is bad. More attack damage. Waste of time. Honestly, probably want one of these here. Uh. 
probably banish these to make my pool a bit smaller. Grab that for the higher area scaling. Fire duration, probably not going to help this build much. More attack speed. More... I'm not sure if that would work on the attack when you get that. Probably not. Since it's not the blessing itself dealing damage, it's just modifying your attack. Uh, I'll get a bit of damage there. Probably have enough healing now. The future. I can just keep taking attack until I get master on that. Although it probably won't help much at this point. But I really want the attack anyways. Guess I will take that for the extra XP. I guess. You know. Probably banish some stuff here. Try and get my total blessing pool as small as possible so I get more attack damage. Attack speed is good. More area? Get the screen wide attacks going on. Do you really need winters? Um, that's pretty bad. That probably doesn't help me very much. I guess I can take that now. One more banish. More pickup. There's little ads just channeling stuff at her, but they're out of the areas I can't even hit them. <laughs> My attack isn't screen wide enough yet. Strikes. I do have some of those, but that's more movement speed. So like more crits.
banish power. Let's see what else we got. I could grab Taste of Time now. Or attack area. Although I lose that banish. More warped attack. I don't even have any strike durations. stuff. Area doesn't help me at all. More attack damage. I guess I'll just grab some cooldown at this point. Not that you're lack Fire Dragon. Get that out of the pool. More area. I don't think any of those really do anything. I guess summon damage would help the fire dragon. Love your pers- They come on screen and just instantly get screen wide slapped.
You don't tire easily. Gehenna probably won't do anything again. It's really late, but oh well. Six hundred thirty one per cent area, two hundred and seventy four per cent attack speed, eighteen hundred per cent damage. Powers have a chance to stun enemies. Break an enemy's barrier, it becomes afraid. Enemy hits you, chance for a lightning bolt to strike it. Double XP, decent cast duration. Damage power duration. Chance to gain a magnet and one strike slot. Strike slot and light region. 172 life. Cast damage projectiles and duration. That might not be bad. Two less projectiles, but duration and damage and shard pool area. More DPS so you can start a bit faster. Maybe. I grab that and save it. Kind of good too. Life, Master Offer, damage against the mobilized. Lose a bit of attack area and banish, but gain some decent damage against the mobilized, and he does that automatically. some more talents. Do I get anything interesting yet? I can do this row fully. Attack area, that's kind of cool, I guess, for an attack build. And get some percent region. My legend offers 100% right now. I guess we go in full attack based, but then that doesn't really help me. 
So let's redo some stuff. Alterations are nice. Chance to knock back enemies. I probably want those two fully maxed. Uh, I'm not sure how good that is. That's not bad, but you kind of need so much investment, it's probably not worth it. One point, that's probably worth it. Could grab a little bit of knockback to go with that. Or, yeah, knockback. With the huge area. I guess that's fine. And then extra area scaling and master offers are pretty nice. That's probably worth it for one point, I would think. Then I get three points down here. Gonna be attacking a lot, so probably not that. It's probably decent healing. Kinda wanna get absolutely insane area though. Probably pump this up quite a bit. What else? Movement's probably fine for a bit. Maybe some boss life. Eh, I'll try 25. Probably not too bad if I can get some decent rolls. I'm looking for time, earth, and something else probably. To get a ton of area and chip Playing high fire, stuff. Huh? Fire is mainly just attack speed, which probably isn't that useful. Or big damage. Huge damage and area on that. I think, well, then I can't get Warp Strike plus Chim High. That does sound pretty cool. Eh, I'll take that and wait a bit. That's a huge damage increase. That's my Master Offers at 19.6. Your quest. I guess I will grab that. Warp Strike plus Chim High for an attack build is probably too good to pass up. Let's see how. Then we have Earth to eventually get attack area. I don't think any of these are going to be super useful though. Definitely banish that. Um. That does stun enemies, which might be useful. Sure. That would be pretty good. With one of these, I can get Bloodlust for some more attack speed. The area on that might end up being kind of low. Eh, I'll try it, I suppose. Grab some damage. Actually, I'm gonna have so much attack damage from the warp strike stacking that I'm not sure I want to take any debuffs for a small amount of damage. So I guess just try that. Ultra 
to ration that purple, sure. Let's see, I have earth, war, and time. I don't think any of the dashes are super relevant. Grab that for the movement speed. More adept early on, I guess. In case there's anything I absolutely have to take with that. Strike area. Definitely don't want that. Let's do some alterations off of Earth. Hemorrhage. I suppose I could grab that. Do want that, but higher rarity would be better. Probably not very useful. Let's see what else we've got. Alteration, I could grab that for some more pull radius. Don't just that might be okay. Still not sure on the stuff here other than the attack area probably push some levels in alteration pretty early so I can get some decent value out of that want those at low rarity. Earth Spike just gains some damage, not super useful. Time field, kind of a long cooldown. Probably not going to end up being that useful. If you were playing Ranger or Maris, you could at least get some ways to cast it for free and then it have around 100% uptime, but probably not that useful on Frontier. Or Alteration, that's probably not going to be very useful. Attack area, I could grab that to start getting levels into something useful here. And I do have the bonus attack area, so that'll help a bit. Let's grab the extra master offer. That'll help get legendaries out a bit faster. The thing is, with this much extra boss life, I probably need to have Jim High by the first boss, though. Otherwise, he's just gonna wear you down with unavoidable damage. Grab some healing on attack hits.
I guess if I can keep hemorrhage up on him, then his damage should keep increasing. Grab the area. I probably want to try and hit time to go for the legendaries here. The sooner I can get those, the better. That's two of them, right? Haste? No, those are all war. So, still two left for time. More attack area. And we get the extra scaling on that. Huge attack area, sure. Just need Jim Hyde now and we cooking. Probably alteration here. I might banish that. Probably good enough at level one. And the early level five alteration should eventually make it master anyways. So it looks like global cooldown probably does work on that, but I'm not positive on that. The duration and area will go up on that, probably want higher rarity on that. That might actually help keep Rupture up for the legendary, so I might want that at high rarity, just one level in it. Life regen. I have percent, so that's probably not super useful. Might be okay once I get really high area for my attacks. More attack speed. Jim High, this is gonna be rough. I guess Taste of Time will slowly wear him down at least. Power, cast, summon. Don't think any of these is really going to help much. to red would be good. Probably don't want summoner. Probably need to wait for him to charge at this point before I go in. Though if I can keep the bleed up that would be pretty helpful. Yeah, he hits you even if you charge away from max range. That's kind of dumb. I have max dashes and it still hits me. And 
now I just can't even attack him right now. Cool. Alterate to try and hit time for legendaries. Probably don't want that. But a level in that might be helpful. Supply bleed a bit more effectively. So, I do have a decent number of strikes. If there is power duration available, that would be the best. Okay, there we go. We banish that. Take some more attack damage. Damage life region. More attack speed. More master offers so I can get gym high even faster with 25.6%. that, see if we can get into time here. No master roll, or rather no legend roll. Try and look for time again. I do have some extra dice here. Could probably banish that. Probably not going to be putting a lot of levels into that. So there we go. Probably don't need to banish that. Ten minutes, but we finally online. Attack speed. More life. Do have region scaling with that now, although not that much. Look for some more power stuff. Get crit chance. Cry to self. So I probably just want the war dash to go with the rupture stuff I have. And then banish it right after so I can't get any more levels into it. More attack speed.
I guess a little bit of summon damage. Cast cooldown reduction might be okay for Divine Shield from Alteration Ritual, but that's kind of specific. More attack speed. March on! Knockback effects? Probably not. I kind of want to grab the dash here so I can banish it and get it out of the pool, but attack speed for ruptured is useful. I don't remember if I have that yet, but more chance on it would be helpful anyways. Imagine taking the second one and losing Jim High there. works on alteration ritual the path to vitality is not super useful i don't have my dice anymore more power stuff get crit chance Looks like there's at least three or four stats, so your chance of hitting something specific is not great. More attack area. Blood swords would help keep up rupture a bit, but bosses are going to be very tanky here. Yeah, you can get some pretty big attack area from the shrines alone. So I'm expecting the dash with the 500% scaling on that to be pretty silly later on. That's so annoying when they go out of bounds on a melee character. Looks like the boss life applies to those guys as well. Do I need luck for anything? That, but it's not great. So I probably just take the huge attack crit here. fish for legendaries. Actually, I probably have most legendaries that I need now. Do still need a lot of attack area.
summon duration. Duration, that should be getting pretty high now, 226. Guess the instant kill is kind of helpful against those annoying guys. Could grab that to help keep it up on bosses. Don't have any banishes left here anyways. Temporal Lord, I guess. Jemai actually feels way stronger than it's ever been, it just takes a bit longer to get now. But you can get 100% legend offer, which seems like it gets you it eventually anyways. As long as you have enough master offer to go with that. More area. Attack speed, I think. More attack speed. speed, probably the most useful out of those. Quake, may as well. I guess I have to.
Yeah, I should have saved the banish for the dash. Those could be going into warp strike for some decent attack damage increases. even hit me and I've taken that much damage. What? Alright, I've been hit one time now. He's just covering the entire screen in damaging areas, dude. Really? Finally, max on Krant. Seven oh one percent area, thirteen hundred percent damage, extra attack speed with bloodlust. Eventually, ramping it up a bit. A lot of extra damage taken from that, plus the Krant tree though. Taste of time actually ended up being a decent amount there. Can't really tell how much rupture did with that. Doesn't have anything for status effects. Doesn't look like I ever got an upgrade from that. Could have used some more attack crit levels, would have been very good there. Should have saved a banish for a dash. Decent area. Darkness 30 unlocked now. That... Mm, probably wouldn't use that, but it might be decent, I don't know. Two strike projectiles. Not sure if Krant or Avron use those. Fire Nova when hit. Probably not, but it has some okay life. That is a lot of random stats, wow. Has some decent cooldown reduction. Eh, maybe. Shard pull in range. Decent power damage, but projectile velocity doesn't really work with that, I think. A lot of shard pull area. Power projectiles. Not many of them have projectiles, like maybe lightning bolt. Life regen XP, probably not. A lot of life regen on that. Dash duration. Strike projectiles and damage. That might be useful on a ring. Kind of need his for regen right now, but it might be worth saving. I have enough gold, it probably doesn't matter. Dash, recharge, and distance together could be decent. Cast projectiles on medium, probably not. That might be useful for high life. Strike damage. Power damage. I might want that to spam dash a lot. 
Actually, no. Plus one dash, minus 30% recharge is just more than 20% recharge would be. So you have a 50% increase in your number of dashes, which are then recharging, since each charge regenerates separately. So mine should just be better, unless you get like the legendary from the fates. But mine also has life. But that's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.